The most dangerous parts of the Grindavik area, which has a volcanic risk, that's practically volcanic risk hazard map, is identified. Blue Lagoon is in danger if it erupts uh, in the direction of it, uh, the sea that is forming under it. But the most dangerous part at the moment is in the Grindavik town. It is sinking yet. The western part of it is falling down and the uh, uh, eastern part is actually rising. And in between, the steam is rising. This is the steam from the uh, water pipe system under the ground to warm the town. This is what the Icelandic people have done. And uh, if the lava from the Hagafell, which is the most likely place for eruption, flows toward the northeast, uh, that's the direction it will go. It may not go very far, but uh, the other scenario is to go toward the southwest, toward the Grindavik. And when it goes there, the western part of the Grindavik, purple line, will be the most uh, at risk. And the eastern part and central part are less at the risk of the eruption damaging them. These areas also coincide with that map that we had previously showing the maximum and the minimum extent of the eruption. We had a relaxation of the faults causing down the magma to go down. Magma line was down. And that can also encourage a rising, further rising of the magma probably to the surface. At the moment, the evidence on the tremors charts point to the fact that we had actually this uh, magma subsidence sinking and slight earthquakes increase. And we have this biggest spike, the red one, which proves in part the theory that I had. But that also means that there is less likely now for an eruption. But within one or two weeks' time, there is yet a chance of the situation reversing back to the danger zone.